stuff in nature. Hey, Russ. In the back here. All, all, all series, you guys have been talking about how to win it is going to take playing physical on defense, a lot of physicality. How, how hard is that um, to, to actually execute that when they're shooting 46 free throws and the whistle is, is like that? Um, it's tough, uh, but um, just got to stick to our game plan. Um, it's a series. Um, and, you know, we'll stick to that. Russ, I guess before the game, if we would have said, hey, you guys would shoot 54% from the field, 43 from three-point land, it seemed like that would be enough to get it done. Your teammate there to your right, former Bruin, also scores 40. Um, is there any part of you guys that is like, what else do we need to do? And if so, what is that? Um, I would probably say um, just myself in the first half. Too many turnovers, five in the first half. Um, I think that's probably a place where we – Self-inflicted wounds. I think they scored 16 points in the first half off turnovers. Um, a lot of them was my fault. Um, so, but the second half we did a much better job of that. Um, but I would probably say that's the only. Uh, play. I thought we played with good pace downhill. Um, you know, physical defensively, but you know, just didn't work out for us. This is for both of you guys. There are a lot of times when you guys are undermanned situations like that. What is it about this team that? makes it seem like you guys can win no matter what. What is it that about the coaching with Ty Lue, what is it about this squad that you guys can win in under man or whatever situation you guys are put in? Um, I just think it's the, the culture that we have, you know, and uh, the effort um, and the belief that we have, you know, in the coaching staff and um, each other and ourselves, you know, um, <clears throat> holding each other accountable. Um, laying it on the line, you know, I think everybody has the, the, the experience and knows what it takes to win, has the will to win, and uh, when you play with the effort, um, the way we did tonight and the way we do uh, consistently, you know, things are going to work out for us, but I just think it's the culture that's been built um, with T. Lou uh, and the guys, uh, that's the biggest thing. Um, you know, like I've been reiterating since I've been here, just uh, to piggyback what Norm said, just uh, the culture, the guys, the uh, um, things that are implemented, the rules, how we play the game, it's important. So next man up mentality is big, you know, for our group. And um, tonight was – tonight guys played well. Uh, just unfortunately didn't uh, come out with the win. Russ, uh, what was your reaction when you learned of the Kawhi news and what's it going to take if you guys have to move forward without Kawhi starting Saturday? Oh, uh, man, it's, it's – it's, uh, I just feel sorry for him. Um, just, you know, um, he's – probably was playing his best basketball in a while and probably best in the world, honestly. Um, and it just sucks, um, you know, just for him uh, mentally. Um, you know, that's the first thing I go to. Um, but it was good to see him be around and, and communicate with us on the, on the bench. And, uh, you know, hopefully you know, we can see how he's feeling and, and see what's next. But um, if he's not back, we got to rally around each other, um, support each other, find ways to be able to, uh, make something happen. It's a series, um, first to four, and uh, get ready for uh, Saturday afternoon. Russell, Ty told us that he had a conversation with you when you guys learned Kawhi was going to be out today, and he told you to stay aggressive, true to yourself. For you, what's it been like working with him as one of the best X's and O's coaches in the NBA, and how has he kind of helped unlo unlock another level of your game? Uh, I mean, it's been amazing, honestly. Um, just uh, me and, and me and Ty had a relationship beforehand, and um, it's really um, allowing me to go and um, be myself, put me in a position to be successful. Um, and with that, um, allowing me to continue to instill confidence in myself and my teammates and um, find ways to make an impact uh, you know, for this team. And I'm grateful for that, and um, he's been amazing. Hey, Russ, uh, I also had a question about that conversation you had with Ty. Uh, first, just uh, can you take us a little bit through that conversation? And also, does it help you at all to, to have a faith that, uh, have a coach that has that level of faith in you? Um, it's, um, it's something that, you know, I don't take for granted as a player. I've been in this league a long time and um, had some unbelievable coaches. And uh, to be able to have coaches communicate, you know, letting me know um, that he, 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 allowing me to go and be aggressive and have confidence in 
my abilities on the floor is, is very important to me and it allows me to better now I go to the drawing board, find ways how I can be effective and help, you know, guys around me, which, you know, I enjoy more than anything else. Norman, Russ, uh, just wanted to ask with how y'all play with all of the guards, uh, small line of T-man at the center, basically, what did you learn from uh, your team in that lineup and what did you learn from how the Suns played y'all in that lineup? Um, I think the biggest thing, uh, uh, we were able to, to spread them out and, and attack. Um, keep putting pressure on the paint, having them rotations. Um, you know, I, I like the energy and effort that T-Man did battling on the boards with A-N, um, you know, being uh, undersized. But uh, I think uh, we found a little something um, and just being able to attack, spread the offense, and make them work on defense um, and uh, speeding them up uh, on the defensive end, you know, being able to pressure and uh, run different uh, <clears throat> blitzes and, and traps on them, uh, having them swing the ball and work the ball around. Um, I think the biggest thing in that, in that small lineup, you know, we gave ourselves a chance um, fighting and scrapping and uh, uh, picking up the pace of the game. Russ, uh, excuse me, uh, Norm in the back. The three three pointers hadn't really fallen for you so far in the playoffs. I know you're very routine based. Had anything changed in your routine the last couple of days to kind of have a night like this where I think you shot seven for twelve? Um, no, I mean you, know, you look at the the first two games. I had five attempts from three um, in two games, and two of them, the others two were half court heaves. Yeah. So really, uh, not getting a, some some looks. You know, I, I can't really say my shots. Fall, not falling or broken, you know, just not enough uh, field goal attempts, you know, and, you know, with the situation, you know, with Kawhi being out, uh, she was talking to me about being aggressive and talking to us, we're trying to get threes up, you know, I'm confident in my shot, I work on it every single day. So it was just uh, getting a chance to, to, to get them up there. Obviously tonight didn't go the way you guys wanted it to go, but with the heart that you guys showed tonight, did it give you the confidence that regardless of what happens with Kawhi, regardless of what happens with PG, that you guys can rally and pull this off? Yeah, I think um, since I've been here, you know, um, it's always been next man up mentality, you know, and, and laying it on the line. You know, I think last year we had the most comebacks um, in the NBA, um, down 20, you know, and this year we got – uh, same group of guys back, you know, another s uh, superstar player, Hall of Fame player uh, that knows what it takes and has the will to win, you know, and um, just continuing to, to believe, you know, not let go of the rope, you know, and um, just continue to fight and lay it on on the line. You can do that. I'm saying it throughout the course of the game, you know, we're going to give ourselves a chance, and, and we did that, you know, just a few bounces here and there, a few calls, um, you know, and we're walking out of here with a W. So it's just keep that mentality, you know, keep fighting for the full 48 every single possession. Uh, for either of you guys, to that point that Norm just made, even with everything that went on today with Kawhi and obviously with BG, you guys were right there at the end. A few things didn't go your way, but um, obviously you guys are a confident group, but the fact that that's where you guys were was, I think, a two-possession game there towards the end. Do you feel like that's something you can carry over into Saturday and build off of? Um, yeah, definitely. You know, um, we're right there. You know, we, we got the guys, the guys that do it. Like I said, we got the experience. Um, and you got the will and, and want to, you know, it's, it's not, it's about not letting go of that rope, you know, and, and watch coming in tomorrow, watching the film and seeing how we can improve offensively, defensively, um, and limiting mistakes, you know, that's the biggest thing, you know, um, we shot ourselves in the foot a little bit, um, with, with turnovers, um, but I think, uh, <clears throat> we're right there, you know, tying it up, uh, here and there. And when they're trying to, you know, uh, pick the pace up and pressure us, you know, staying calm and composed and still working the game. Um, but I think uh, uh, we, we, we're still in this. You know, every game is different. We've been in series, down two, um, up two. You know, it, it don't matter. You know, it's just uh, figuring out what it's going to take to win and, and going out there and laying it on the line. Our last two questions, Justin. Uh, for both of you, um, before the game, Ty said pace was going to be the thing he wanted to see you guys play a little bit faster. Russ, you mentioned pace a, a little bit a little bit ago. Um, how do you guys kind of balance? Playing faster, but not playing frantic, so to speak. Uh, just reading. Um, I thought we picked the pace up a little more in the second half. Um, just reading, reacting. Um, but even when we play fast, it allows us, act activates us to be able to move, uh, make the next play, move to the next action, um, and it creates open shots for us. We have a lot of open looks, um, which we, you know, we can live with. All right, last question. For either one of you guys, you've talked a lot about Kawhi, but 
Devin Booker has really had a, uh, another great game. What is he doing that's beyond what you're seeing in film? Um, he's making some tough shots, um, you know, um, getting some easy ones early. Um, but we just got to be more aggressive on him, um, lock in uh, to him and his tendencies. Um, but we'll make sure we do that on Saturday for sure. Thanks, guys. Thank you.